Welcome back. If you have a yard, chances are you've dealt with pesky mole hills. You might be dealing with them right now, but how do you get rid of moles and what other pests should we watch out for during the summer? Chris Anderson, a wildlife biologist for the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife, is here with sage advice and practical tips. How are you? Good. Can we, Thanks for having uh, us. first of all, let's take a look at a picture of a mole because I don't know that I've ever seen one in real life. This is what they look like. Yeah. That's it? That's yes, yeah, that that's one creature. of our Townsend's moles. So we have seven <laughs> moles in North America and th uh, three in the state of Washington, two of which do a lot of digging. Uh, the Townsend's mole, which is the largest mole in North America. How big is uh, it? It's about eight to nine inches long. Really? Yeah. And uh, then we have over here as well um, the uh, Pacific mole. Some people call it the coast mole. Um, it's about six to seven inches. And what are they doing? They're just they're just they're going around digging their feeding tunnels, which are close to the mm -hmm. surface. That's those are the tunnels that we tend to see. You're like, oh, I'm stepping it down in my right. in my yard, uh, and then they're excavating that dirt out and pushing it up in a mound. So that's that's their that's their dirt pile basically. <laughs> And, um, and they're eating so, the vegetation? No, well, um, our moles out here, they, uh, they do eat just a very small amount of vegetation, which is not typical for the moles worldwide. Um, but 90% uh, of their diet is insects. They, they are insect they're just looking eating for insects. animals. Okay, so. so this is a hassle. You see it out in your yard, but it's sometimes hard to tell whether it's a mole hill, you say, or a gopher. Hole. Yeah, up here, um, that's yes and no. Um, up here in the King County area, we we don't really know of any um, uh, mole. I'm sorry, gopher populations that are left in this area. Um, the range of the Mazama pocket gopher, uh, which is uh, listed uh, both federally and state in Washington here on the west side of the mountains. Mm -hmm. um, they are found more south of us, Pierce King, Pierce, County. Uh, Pierce okay. Thurston. Well, we yeah. certainly have viewers who are in so, that area. So let's look at these pictures and tell me what you're seeing. What is that? Yeah, a little, little gopher there. So, That's a little pocket gopher. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, kind of a hassle. Um, so what do we do with moles and gophers? Well, the thing about moles, um, so in 2000, uh, the Voters of Washington passed uh, an initiative, Initiative 713, which uh, made it illegal to use body gripping traps. Mm -hmm. The best way to control a mole, straightly, straightforward, is a trap. So, and unfortunately, the traps that you see at various uh, hardware stores that either you put it in that uh, top runway because they'll go down to f three and a half, four feet. That's mm -hmm. their main runways where they hang out, and these are where they're up feeding. Right. Uh, and uh, so you put that in there, and you do either clasp down on the animal or they have plunge ones that basically come down on the animal. So they're still sold in the state of Washington, but they are technically illegal they're because of that legal. initiative. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Well, the best thing, um, the thing that I employ, <laughs> <laughs> which I understand you employ as well, is tolerance. Yes. Because I put them on ignore because I yeah, don't know what because, to do with them. So there's a couple things. So, you know, I mean, there's tolerance. I mean, these animals are all around. You basically, in a typical suburban lot, you know, like here in Seattle, you're going to have a territorial male and a territorial female or a couple females because the females can overlap a little bit. The males don't like each other. They, they have a little bit more uh, um, angst towards each other. Okay. Uh, so you're dealing with, you know, three animals that uh, you know definitely are moving around the, that territory area. So they're moving between your yard and your neighbor's yard. They're going down low. You think you've killed them with uh, juicy fruit or some other you know uh, no. thing that hasn't been. Yes. Here, here's a look at where they go. Kind of what they're path is. We only see the stuff yes. at the top, but this is Correct. where they're, they're wandering yeah, around. They so, I mean, down. seriously, that's the best we can do is just kind of say... Well, no, not necessarily. Um, you know, I mean, definitely like golf courses and other things, they, they will employ uh, trapping um, with live traps. Uh, but then there's you have actually, to monitor that a lot. Yeah, and you have to purchase those. You know, a lot of them aren't available in hardware stores. You have to go online and purchase like a gopher trap that, and with moles, you can't just put down any small rodent trap, which by the way, moles are not rodents. Okay. But they are mammals, but not rodents. They're their own little special mammal off, offshoot. So they'll make a little trap that has two doors um, and has sheet metal over it because mm -hmm. when moles, those big claws, they can tell yep. if it's expanded mesh. So it's just got expanded mesh on the bottom and they hit that and then you've got that animal you take it out, you know, maybe you dig and it relocate down. relocate it somewhere? Yeah, well, it's illegal to relocate 
wildlife in the state well, of Washington. What are you doing with it then if you track it? Would it? Have to be, uh, it would have to be, it would have to be, you euthanize it. Just okay, like, I'm back on ignore. What about the gopher? Sure. Do we do anything with the gopher? Sure. Uh, well, the gopher, first you'd want to call State Fish and Wildlife because they are federally and, and, and state listed if it's a Mazama pocket gopher, which okay. would be the gophers on the west side and of the And you guys crest. would come out and do what? Well, we'd want to get it documented, for one, um, and that'd be a pretty big thing in King County since uh, we've not really found a, a, a population left in King County for right. quite some time. Um, so, but if you're calling from Pierce County, you'll come out and look at it? Well, or yeah, not? I mean, that would be something we'd be interested in. I've, I've gone and looked for gophers in South King County. Mm -hmm. um, I've come up just moles. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so, and gophers tend to have more crescent-shaped mound versus just that volcanic looking thing and then they have a little plug that looks different kind of it's on the side whereas uh, gophers they're just pushing that all up saying I've, I've cleared my space got this volcano a little plug on top and that's it they don't really do much other than that's their where they, they where they store then? their Can soil we put those on ignore as well yeah so tamping that down um, you know using a live trap or even using like a, a homemade pitfall trap so a can of coffee that yeah. you know empty uh, dig it into that run uh, get it down flush with the run, um, and uh, uh, maybe even take a piece of landscape cloth, which is dark, put that over that access hatch that you've mm -hmm. built with a piece of just lumber or a, a cork board or something like that, uh, and then check it uh, every day. And as they come through, they drop into that. Heavens to Betsy. So it's kind of the same That'll be a concept. huge surprise when you find that. We have some other questions about other pests and when it's time to call for Fish and Wildlife. We're going to put all of that on the web for people. Thank sure. you so much for coming by and telling sure. us about this.